Um, hi. Today we live in the world of technology, the smart world. So there's probably a gadget out there that can do anything and everything you want. So now, for these gadgets to be there on the market, it has to meet people's demand, and people demand crazy things. They want your devices to be smarter, to be faster, to be smaller, more longer battery life, and whatnot. So how do we actually reach these uh, goals? So yes, some of the best things we can do is design our circuits better, but a large impact of this comes on how we place and route. So how we connect all these components matter the most. For example, if you are going to like 10 different places, it depends on how we're going to these 10 places and the order. This way we can save our time, our gas, and probably our energy. So in the same way, we save power and time in our circuits as well. So uh, this can be achieved very easily in digital, but in analog it's quite complicated. And you'll be wondering, we don't live in the 70s, who uses analog circuits? But um, if you all have phones, if you all have laptops, then every one of you have analog circuits. Approximately 10% of every circuit is analog, and these are quite unique and complicated to design. So um, these take about 50 times more the time to actually generate layouts compared to the digital part. And Intel and Apple spend like six months designing the circuits for these devices. So here at Texas A&M, the research I work on is automating this process. So how do I go about this? Uh, essentially, I break down these huge circuits into smaller components, smaller sub-circuits. And then we work with this, get our uh, routes, then we choose the candidates and get a database. From this, we use some machine learning and decide which would probably be the best one to choose. This works a lot like how maps work or like navigation works. So like when you're traveling to a place, it looks at things like traffic and weather and road construction and decides which is your best route to take. So in the same way, it chooses which is our favorite route, which is most suitable for our circuit, and it works. So by doing this, we could probably uh, reduce six months of work to probably just one day. And this is great for the industry. It works a lot better, and it makes the whole process more streamlined. And most of all, you probably wouldn't have to wait for two years for your next iPhone or MacBook. Thank you.